Uh, so, and, and uh, by the way, uh, when people say, oh, Mother Teresa is not a very happy person, it doesn't matter. Well, uh, she's not happy. I mean, now they people oh, happy, that happiness. The great people, Lincoln is not a happy person. They suffer depression and you know, sorrow. I, I, I just sick in the stomach every time about happiness. You know, life is not about happiness. Life is about bring happiness to other people. You know, because, uh, you know, that's why I say that my way of thinking is that to grow, to be mature is from self centeredness to self centeredness. Not from self centeredness to more self centeredness. That's a recipe for misery. Okay? So then, and here the other thing is about life is a process of growing wisdom. Well, I mentioned that already. I will talk to say, knowing yourself is the beginning of wisdom. You know, you don't learn wisdom at school, do you? you know, I call that the Aristotle say, to be truly happy, to be really, uh, call, he called that eudaimonia, to really achieve eudaimonia is to have practical wisdom. Practical wisdom, I call that life intelligence. Know what's right, what's wrong. Know when to quit, how, when to hang on. When to say goodbye. When to cling to the person. Everything requires practical wisdom. I'm still learning. There's no end, okay? So life is a journey of learning how to be wise. That, that is a lifelong process. So conclude, you now from, from a meaning point of view, it's a process of self-discovery, it's a healing journey, it's a spirit journey, it's a process of growing in wisdom. So we are embarking on a journey to learn all four areas. Now, you, now the part of psychology, we will not talk about that. I think part of psychology nowadays saying that if you are engaging this behavior, that behavior, you'll be happier, you'll be more successful. Okay? There's the happiness coaches, there's uh, positive life coaches, but I'm talking about something that requires a lot more than, than engaging activities. I'm talking about something that's deep inside you, that you have to change from inside out in order to be a better person and live a better life. There, there, there's no shortcut. The change has to come from deep inside you. Now, this guy has a problem there. <laughs> <laughs> he, you might think whatever you want. I might think that I'm Mr. Universe. <laughs> I'm no muscle. This guy might think he's a muscular man, but he's too fat. He has a problem there. He needs a, a, a mental checkup. Now consider this session as a mental checkup. Uh -huh. To ask yourself, what are you really like? Is there something in your life that needs to be fixed, that needs to be changed? Uh, people are usually very resistant to change. Very, uh, they, they, they live in denial. They deny their own problem. If there's something in your life that needs to be changed, needs to be fixed, you better take notice. Your body can tell you there's something wrong with you. Your dream might tell you there's something wrong with you. Other people might hint at it, what's wrong with you. But you, know, you, you need to pay attention to all the clues that there's something in you that needs to change. Otherwise, you can, can from marriage to marriage, from marriage to marriage, from job to job. The same problem will follow you wherever you are, wherever you marry. So this is uh, know yourself means know there's something in you that needs change and you change it.